Hare Krishna, please accept my humble obeisances. Augusti Shri Prabhupada. I'm going to buy some equipment because we want to be printing uh, Bhagavad Gita in Chinese. One devotee who uh, was initiated by Shri Prabhupada during his physical presence uh, in Hong Kong, he was ordered by Shri Prabhupada to translate into uh, Chinese. So this Prabhu is named Yashomati Sutta Prabhu. He lives in Hong Kong. So he has translated this Bhagavad Gita some time ago. We have only one copy of that Bhagavad Gita. So we need to take pictures and then process it through an OCR program so that all the characters will be, you know, uh, recognized and uh, transferred into a editable format. So I went to a few shops and I see that the prices here are a bit uh, more expensive. But at least I asked some questions. I know which one is the best quality, so I'm going to order online. In China, uh, it is very hard to spread this Krishna consciousness. Uh, many times I give myself excuses that, oh, it's too dangerous, it's too dangerous, I should not do this, you know. But at one point we need to, I think, uh, be honest with oneself and find when we're just becoming uh, lazy or uh, lacking faith. So it's not illegal to chant outside, so why not do it, you know? So this is a famous tower here in Guangzhou, as you can see behind us. So it's a good spot, there's a lot of people. So I need to find a place. I see a lot of people here to come and see the view. I'm just gonna try to go a bit further because near, near that that bus station over there I saw like a couple of guards one thing that's happening all over the world now is that as soon as there's something a bit out of the common people start to take videos of it and post it in social media so if you're chanting the holy name people take videos of you and then it spreads throughout the medias you know throughout their friends and also everybody has the chance to hear the holy name and this is especially true in China everybody is just gonna stick out their phones as soon as they see a a foreigner chanting <laughs> with a weird drum. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. So it lasted 14 minutes, <laughs> 14 minutes before some guard came over and told me to leave. So, uh, but they were okay and they told me to find a park. He said, here's not a park. So they told me to find a park to sing. So they were polite. So maybe we'll do this, find a park. So now I'm coming to this park and some guard is there. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'll try to go a bit more inside. Okay. I couldn't even get in the park. <laughs> they saw me at the entrance with that big drum, you know, the Mridanga. And they said, hey, what is this? And I said, oh, it's a drum. And then they said, oh, you cannot go inside and play that drum. You know, you're going to be disturbing people. But again, they were nice, you know, they were nice. They said, oh, no, here is a, like a, a memorial kind of garden park, you know. So uh, it's supposed to be more respectful, I guess. I don't know. I don't know exactly 
what he meant. He said, but anyway, I should find a more public park to go. So anyway, it's getting late. I don't know if I will take the subway again and go somewhere else to try to find another park. But at least I know it's possible. I hope uh, Prabhupada and Krishna will engage me in this service again. Okay, Haribo. So these are the two items that we bought on Taobao in order to um, uh, start to scan all our books. So here they are. One is the tripod. My camera, which I'm filming with now, will go on this. And uh, this is the remote to take pictures. So here we have got the setup, the camera is there filming and then we open the book like this and what we do basically is that we scan both pages at the same time uh, and then we're going to process them through a program. By using this remote we just keep the book like that, so like this. Boom. Today is a sunny day in Guangzhou, it's quite warm. As you can see, I'm wearing only a t-shirt. Jai Jagannath. And I have the Ridanga. So we're gonna be walking in those uh, little streets over there. It's a kind of village. And do a bit of Harinam Sankirtan Ki Jai. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 <laughs> So it went well uh, It was nice most people you know they just look uh, at us foreigner as uh, you know funny people who do this kind of stuff anyway so uh, most of them were simply you know uh, smiling and looking at at me playing the Mridanga. I mean the people in general they don't care you know they don't mind it's the authorities that get pressure from higher authorities um, and anything that looks like a religious act it's kind of very touchy in China so it's not as bad as I think uh, the news are saying in other countries China is not like that I've been living here for nine years now in uh, the beginning uh, I was trying to sell books outside and I was giving paintings of Krishna outside uh, in the parks and I never had any problems you know but of course we should if we want to push this Yatra in China we have to be very careful step by step make sure that we don't uh, attract too much attention so anyway it was nice I'm almost there now back to the temple in those buildings over there so I think I'll start doing this on a regular basis now Able. Hare Rama